momentary wait here on the elevator while uh, the photographers get a, a few more pictures. This is Richard O'Brien, our correspondent aboard the Iwo Jima voice you here. Besides Captain Kirk and this is uh, an elaborate uh, medical facility here. Uh, the Iwo Jima has uh, on board. Uh, Jack Swigert, next time with Davis, and then uh, Fred Hayes has his back to us. I There'll guess he's not <laughs> working for camera today. <laughs> Awaiting uh, Jim Lovell and John Swigert and Fred Hayes. That's three doctors to an astronaut. First, uh, blood samples. Takes about three doctors to hold us down. Findings. <laughs> <laughs> will uh, we'll be flown off uh, as soon as possible to the laboratories. You know, there was the original intention to pick up those blood samples. Now you're getting a, a look from the uh, hangar deck. Snatching them up the with a. Uh, aircraft flying by and hooking a cable uh, raised by a balloon. You know, that's not technique. But they tried that Apollo 12 and it shook up the blood samples so badly that uh, Dr. Berry wasn't happy with them. Oh, they changed the characteristics probably, yeah. surely. transition from this very, very small spacecraft to this massive carrier. You just imagine the sense of volume that they're participating in right now. The opening leading up to the uh, medical facility. Sick day. Which may be a misnomer in this case. Anybody is sick. That is a picture of the happy man in mission control in Houston. With the pictures up there, of course, of the astronauts being brought to him by television. Just a few people dropped in. <laughs> A happy crew. And of course there will be some uh, fast telephone calls, we assume, to uh, some waiting wives uh, at home. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to, to see those uh, phones ringing very shortly. There they go. Into the... Uh, entrance of the uh, medical facility, and that uh, should be uh, about all we see of them now for the uh, for the next uh, three hours or so, uh, and possibly uh, get an early uh, medical report on uh, what their conditions uh, indeed are. But uh, the Apollo 13 men home safely for the carrier Iwo Jima out here, a perfect recovery. It, uh, it couldn't have been better, it couldn't have been closer, and uh, now the Iwo Jima will swing around and uh, pick up the command module, which probably will uh, be done in uh, less than half an hour, because uh, we're, we're that close. So that is it from the prime recovery ship, Iwo Jima, in the South Pacific. This is Richard O'Brien. Almost forgotten Wally in the uh, just two missions, Apollo 11 and 12, uh, kind of open and simple that is to come back when you don't worry about all that quarantine procedure.